South Africa is home to some of the world's most threatened plant species. The country has the highest plant endemism globally, but one in four plants needs conservation action. For over 20 years, the custodians of rare and endangered wildflowers, known as CRU, has been at the forefront of citizen science, monitoring and protecting our precious plant heritage. CRU is a partnership between the South African National Biodiversity Institute and the Botanical Society of South Africa. This partnership has been mutually beneficial, allowing the program to reach a wide range of people throughout the country. We started the CRU program in 2003 because at that time we were aware that there were lots of endemic restricted plants in South Africa but we didn't have the information to work out how threatened they were and we didn't have the manpower to go and assess them all and so we reached out to citizens as a, a test to see how it would work and here we are 20 years later it's worked incredibly well and we have a wealth of information about our special restricted endemic species in South Africa. CRU is funded by the Botanical Society and the Mapula Trust. We get the list of threatened species that occurs in the country and then share that with our volunteers in their specific regions that they work in. Volunteers then look at the priority species that we're going to survey. We then look at flowering time, go out into the field, survey for those plant species collect data and this data gets fed through the chain of our biodiversity data sets at a national level. We work with groups of citizen scientists that's based in areas where there are high concentrations of threatened plants and we work with these citizen scientists, we train them how to identify plants, how to do the monitoring work, how to use iNaturalist. They arrange field trips to go and look for these threatened plants in the field and when they find these plants, they record the information that we require. We collect data in the field by taking photos and we load them onto the iNaturalist app, um, which is a very powerful resource for gathering lots and lots of data. We record our location, we record the species, the time at which it is seen. The crew data collected by our volunteers gives us accurate information, feeds into the assessment process. We feed that directly into land use decision making, especially the environmental impact assessment processes and strategic environmental assessments that guide where development, such as agriculture and mining, can or can't take place. I think conservation in South Africa, we're experiencing quite a lot of capacity constraints, especially in the government department. So utilizing the volunteers and their amateur knowledge and expertise is absolutely critical to the success of biodiversity stewardship. Where we have limited resources and knowledge about these plants and the rare flora on the reserve, they go out on their own and assist the reserve in bringing back those records and pushing that through to Sanby. Crew's importance uh, for me as a red list officer with the citizen scientists uh, collecting this data, doing the surveys and monitoring the species, it makes my work much more easy. This amazingly beautiful irid is known as Aristea biflora. It's severely threatened and only known from a handful of remaining populations. It's clear that agriculture is not the only threat to the survival of these remnants and these species. Urban sprawl is as much of a threat. What inspired me is, was I love nature and I had an immediate uh, uh, affinity to what crew was doing, which is out in nature. I learned such a lot and it became something new to me. Doing it for a cause through the INET program, helping crew to, to gather information and data because they are out in the office and we the volunteers are out here. It has been hugely exciting starting the group and taking it to the very top and I'm immensely proud of it. When we started the whole of the Southern Cape was a blank page in terms of data gathering. Now it's just red dots from top to bottom so we have done an excellent job of filling in all those gaps and had a huge amount of fun doing it. I've been collecting specimens and then bringing them to the herbarium and now processing them, mounting them. We go out with crew and we're looking at stuff and we're collecting especially rare stuff 
and then seeing them land up at the, in the end result in a herbarium. So my key activities as the Eastern Cape uh, coordinator range uh, from monitoring species of conservation concern, which is our crew focus, but also working with communities and working with our conservation stakeholders. And I also do red list assessments. The thing that keeps us uh, motivated as crew volunteers is finding threatened species. We found some of them in the Umtumbuna Nature Reserve. We found a Hesperantha species there that hadn't been described. We spent a fair amount of time in the Mkambati Nature Reserve in Transkei, and that was really rewarding. But, and we found several uh, undescribed species there as well. Mentoring students is something that's very important to us. There's no point having knowledge if you can't share it. Uh, in Umtambuna we were very lucky because we had interns there and volunteers and you slowly but you know, impart your knowledge and I think it's also important to share the enthusiasm. It's an investment in the future and that's our legacy. What attracted me to the crew program was uh, how helpful I found the first uh, day that I was with the crew. I came back filled with so much names, scientific names to be specific and I was like so fascinated and from that day I never looked back. Projects that I did, the one that stands out is uh, when we did plant ID and we collected the plant at Umtamvuna and went into the herbariums and did all the processing from plant pressing and I was assisted by the crew volunteers throughout the process. I'm eternally grateful to the crew group from Outramps who's assisted us uh, as the World Heritage Site on Otaniqua, but also personally, if I wasn't exposed to them back then, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have in terms of the flora of this protected area. The most inspiring things about the crew program for me is that we have these volunteers, these citizen scientists that's giving up their own time just for the love of plants and for the love of the conservation of these species and to make sure that they are conserved for future generations. They said that conservation is for future generations to see what we are seeing now. And so I call it my life-changing journey. It's just a whole beautiful world that opened up to us. So I think this will keep us busy for many, many, many more years. I've been able to complete my studies and currently furthering my studies as well I, into advanced diploma in nature conservation. And through the help of crew, I have been able to apply my practical skills in different aspects. From a personal point of view, I'm incredibly proud of this program. Our volunteers come in with so much enthusiasm, so much caring for the plants. Conserving this incredible diversity is so challenging, but we can do it because of what we get from our volunteers. There's still a lot of work to be done, and we are looking for people to get involved. And if you want to be part of this amazing community that helps conserve our threatened plants in, in South Africa, uh, you can join the crew program, join iNaturalist, um, and contribute in that way. Thank you.